Hello, Bethune Elementary second grade. This is Mr. Chick, and we're working on our unit five math. We're working on partitioning rectangles and creating arrays. Last week, we learned about different shapes and how to classify them based on their attributes. Today, we're gonna to learn how to make an array and see how many rows and columns we have. Our I can statement is, I can partition a rectangle into rows and columns of same size squares and count to find the total number of them. Before we begin, let's review our vocabulary words from last week. We had a polygon, which is any shape with three or more sides that's closed. A side is the line that's used to form the polygon. An angle are lines that come together to form a point, the inside of the corner or the vertex. A vertex, or vertices, more than one, are the corners of a shape. Quadrilateral, a polygon with only four sides. A rectangle is a quadrilateral, quadrilateral with four right angles and opposite sides are the same. And a square is a rectangle with four equal sides and four right angles. Now let's look at some new vocabulary we're going to use this week. The first word is array. An array is an arrangement of objects in rows and columns. This is an array. This is an array of emojis. We have another array here. And an array of cookies. As you can see, each of these arrays is a rectangle. Each of these has four sides. All of the rows are the same in each rectangle. And all of the columns are the same in each rectangle. So it's important that all of the rows and the columns are the same and it has to have four sides because it's a rectangle. So what are rows? Rows are objects that go in a horizontal line. Horizontal means side to side. Side to side. Here's a row of chairs. As you can see, they go side to side. Here is a row in a theater with many, many chairs, and they all go side to side. As you can see, this array has three rows. One, two, three. Three rows. All right, so what are columns? Columns are objects in a line vertically, that is, up and down. Up and down. These buildings have columns that help support the building. This array has six columns, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is the White House where the president lives and it has columns that support the front of the building. Okay, let's work on solving this problem. How many stars are in this array? How many rows and how many columns? There are three rows. One, two, three. And there are four columns. One, two, three, four. So if I have three, in each one of the columns, then three plus three plus three plus three is 12. So there are 12 stars in this array. All right, let's try another one with soccer balls. How many soccer balls are in the array? How many rows? How many columns? Well, there are four rows, one, two, three, four. 
and there are four columns. One, two, three, four. So if there are four here, 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 and here, then four plus four plus four plus four is 16. There are 16 soccer balls in this array. Okay, your turn. Get a separate sheet of paper and make your own array. Remember, you have to have straight rows and columns. And think about how many rows does your array have? How many columns does your array have? How many objects are in your array? Great. Now, watch this quick video about arrays, and then you can click the link in the s'more to take the quiz. Tomorrow, we will continue working on arrays. See you then.